Tuesday night in the MAC. It is an interesting matchup coming here with uh, Ball State and Kent State. This one at Kent with Kent laying 10 and a total of 142 and a half. Matt Cox, we're coming to you for the handicap. What jumped out at you about this game to put it down for our audience here on BetUS TV? Yeah, another conference opener here. I'm going to fade the home team, Kent State, and the spot is the primary reason why. They just came off of two West Coast trips. They went to Oregon before Christmas, uh, came back. They went back out to the West Coast to play St. Mary's. Now, they battled admirably in both those, lost by 14 at Oregon, uh, lost by 20 to St. Mary's. I didn't cover either, but I think they actually played fairly competitively. Uh, I think what you're seeing is a Kent State team that's going to be a little bit tired and weary to open conference play tonight. They're not fully healthy. They got a few guys playing through some minor injuries from what I've been uh, told. Ball State, not exactly a team I'm rushing to the counter to back, but I think they're well coached under Mike Lewis. They have a bona fide shot-making star on Jalen Anderson. They can kind of get you – um, you know, a potential backdoor run or a late flurry of points if you need it. But I don't think you need that tonight. I think this game's going to be nip and tuck most of the way. Um, Ball State's got enough bolts in the chamber to keep this one close. Conference roadie to start. I like getting the doubles here with the uh, road team. Go Cardinals. Any concern that they have had an 11-day layoff, Ball State, if my math is correct here, once again, that they haven't played since December 21st? How much does that – apparently it doesn't. You're taking them. But what is the I, I actually think it I, – I think it's actually a, a point in the favor of Ball State. I think at this point in the year, rest means more. I, early in the season, yeah, I think continuity and rhythm and flow. But now that we're, you know, getting into the dog days of conference play, I know it's early conference play. But still, I think, you know, the, the extra time to prepare and scout your opponent, which you do more often at this point in the year, right? Talk about familiarity and conference. Everyone's, you know, scouting at a different level of detail than you are in non-con, where you're more just kind of walking out there and playing, you know, light scouting, but nothing serious. I think the extra time to prepare really helps Ball stay here, especially for a good coach like Mike Lewis. Interesting on that. Big man, any thoughts on this matchup? Kent State at home, but laying double figures. Yeah, this seemed like a lot of points to me. I couldn't agree more. Obviously, you kind of whenever you get MAC teams together, kind of again, kind of comes closer. These teams know each other, as we talked about in the other game. Yeah. But again, Ball State does a lot of things well. Again, another team, good shooting team, thirty-eight percent this season, good from the line. Keep an eye. Clarion and Hornback didn't play against St. Mary's, one of their bigs. This is already a pretty small Kent State team, one of the smallest teams in the country. Uh, Ball State has a terrific big, Bashir Jihad, very good player, great rebounder, big kid down low. Him and Jalen Anderson, nice duo there. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good spot. Matt alluded to the fact that they're coming off of a West Coast trip not 10 days ago, a couple of days ago. I think maybe weary legs, as he talked about. Yeah, this seemed like a couple of too many. I'd put it more towards like seven or six. I think 10's a bit high. I agree. All right, again. Uh, the play is Matty Cox. How about this? Right off the bat, the first two plays on the show for 2024 are underdogs. Matty Cox says, give me the points with the Ball State Cardinals coming tonight against Kent State. He will take the 10 in that matchup. ESPN Plus will have the game 7 Eastern time tonight. Thank you for finding us. I see the live audience going bonkers right now. We have added about 150 in live audience in about the last five or six minutes. Keep it up. Hit the like button. Share us out, uh, et cetera. Good to have you in 2024 finding us on BetUS TV.